cardboard craft with drum roll, please. This you do with cardboard. Now I know I promised you guys I'd make a big cardboard kitchen, so I thought, why not today? All right. So you might be wondering, what in the world am I doing? Well, first you're gonna need this big sheet of cardboard, and you're gonna fold it. Again, if you don't have this huge of a cardboard, you can just cut out the pieces. All right, guys. So you're gonna get something like this, but. You're probably going to want to cut the cardboard here because we're not going to have this big of a kitchen. And then don't throw away these leftovers because we're going to use them to make the sides. All right, so let's get cutting. All right, guys, so here is our thing. So it's okay if there are holes here because we're going to add an oven here, a sink, and we're going to be cutting a lot of things. So I suggest you mark down the spots you want it to be. And we're not only making a cardboard kitchen today. We're also making some tools for the kitchen, so this will be kind of fun. Guys, I know this is the world's most terrible circle, but I'm drawing on cardboard here. Spare some sympathy. For the stove, it's going to take up a little bit more space than the sink, and we're going to have two parts. So I'm just going to draw two circles and a big fat square for the oven. All right, we're done. Uh, guys, if you wonder what I do in between videos, or clips, this is what I do. Uh, finally. You guys might be wondering, what do we do with the leftovers? Well, here's the tip. Use them to make your stove. Of course, unlike this thing, we are definitely not going to cut off the stove, or else we're going to have nothing to cook it with. So I just drew a basic circle, and now I'm going to cut it. But guys, remember you draw two of them, and don't forget to cover them in glass. Here's a tip, guys. When you're cutting... Alright guys, and here's how it looks. look. Looks like a DG, DJ. This looks really cool. And for the sink, I had another idea. But let's just continue with the stove first. Alright guys, the next step is to color this. Now, I chose the blackest of colors. But nope, these go in the trash. For a special cardboard kitchen, we can use any color we want. So I think I'm just gonna go with the most vibrant colors. All right guys, give a thumbs up if you like my choice of colors. And let's get started. So I'm gonna do one third of purple, one third of this kind of blue, and another third of this kind of blue. All right guys, I'm starting to feel a little bit bad for my markers because they only have limited ink. So I just decided just to color this part of it and the rest like <laughs> something else. All right guys. This is taking kind of forever, so while I'm busy varying the choice of colors, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up below. I have 15 subscribers so far, and I'm hoping to hit 50 subscribers by the end of this year, or maybe New Year. Alright guys, as you guys see, some of the colors aren't really showing as vibrant. But I think this kind of looks cool. It makes me think of a DJ area. All right, guys, I also added a few more decorations. But again, this isn't coloring class. This is a crafting video. So let's move on. For the sink, we are going to be using this blue crumply kind of fabric. But more importantly, we need a handle and a tap. All right, guys, so the first part of the tap is done. And now we're going to need to make handles. And of course, they need to be the traditional colors, red and blue. This is an example of what you should not do. You hear me not do. An example of what you should do is you should take a pen side of a marker and quickly outline it. The flower petal thing shouldn't be so big. And it should be like this. And you should cut out two of those. One red, one blue. All right guys, here's our tap and our mini handles. So I'm gonna show how to stick these all in a unique way without making this black tape show. Actually, surprise, surprise, we're not using tape at all. We are, I cut some slits in slots in here so I can insert the sink hand, the sink tap in. And see, it inserts in. And if you notice, I added these cardboard strips so I could do the same with the taps. All right guys, so here is our lovely sink. And now I'm going to add that special bubbly water. Drum roll, please. Ta da! Okay, guys, I know it's not exactly water, but it's satisfying. You can pop the bubbles too. Wow, that feels so good. All right, guys, now that we're done with this, next comes the oven. All right, guys, here's our beautiful oven. Look how it. Oh, 
Oh dear. You know what this means? We gotta glue some sides. It's all falling down. See, there's no sides on. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so for sides, we're gonna need another piece of cardboard because I accidentally used the other pieces to make these pieces, but that's all right. So don't forget to measure the sides lens. So I'll quickly make the sides and then we'll actually move on to the oven. All right guys, so I felt bad for my cardboard because I only have a little bit of it left. So I decided to use something much more efficient and more happy. Newspapers! All right guys, so I glued a newspaper covered side and here is our oven. Now, if you noticed, um, I made it a little slanted so it'll be a little more easier to reach all the stuff. And here's our fancy sink and everything looks great. All right guys, so I made a bubble wrap handle so this looks really good, but now it's time to make the utensils. Actually guys, scratch that because we need a backboard. <laughs> So I'm going to make a big backboard so we can hang all the utensils. All right, guys, here is our backboard. So I'm just going to sweep away all this mess. And here it is. So guys, give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But wait, don't cut this video yet. We still have a second part because now we're going to make the utensils. All right, guys, so first we're going to start by making a pan. And for that, I need an outline. So the pan is not going to be that big. It's just going to be... A little bigger than the size of the stone so let's draw it all right all right guys so I just drew um, the pan circle so this is gonna be our base and we're gonna surround the things with it and I'm gonna also draw a handle so here is our handle so it's gonna look like this and you're gonna see all right guys so I finished cutting this out and now we're gonna need a long strip like this so that we can tape it all around the corners, kind of like this. And then we stick it on. All right guys, here's our pan. Now, if you're wondering how did I make this, well, I used the strips and I stick them together and I used the tape to tape this all and it looks kind of cool. Though it looks more like a hockey racket, but hey, everything's not perfect. So we made one of the items, now it's time to make a spatula. All right, so I cut out a spatula template and now we can continue. This is a very hard step because your spatula cannot be way too flimsy because if it is, everything's gonna go, let's just say terrible. So to make it thicker, I did the same technique with the pan, which made it like this. I just, I rolled up the foam paper to make it a lot more thicker. So I'm gonna do the same for this one. And then I'm gonna cover it up in black tape and yeah, that's basically gonna thicken our spatula. Right, guys, so here's our cute little spatula. And now I have one last thing to make and after we make that, we're all good to go. Well, let me ask you a question. What can you buy from a food? What can you buy for breakfast but can't eat it? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one go and the answer is plates or silverware and what what couldn't we do without plates so i'm making a few plates right now and make sure they're bigger than the stove and a little bit bigger than the pan all right so here's our plates and guys don't try to cheat the system and just grab plates from your home after all be like me i'm a crafter not a cheater all right here is our gorgeous looking plate. If the plates are flimsy, that is fine because I mean, we're only serving food on them. So I'm just gonna make a few more and we'll be all set to go. To be honest, this one looks more like a scram unscrambled egg than a plate, but that's all right. All right guys, we're done. And now I'm gonna add some hooks here so we can hook these things or a basket. All right guys, we're done. So let's quickly take a close look at everything now. So we have our pocket, the sink, the stuff and the oven. And I added these switches. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.